Enemies bomb. You've been talking about the Queen again? On Independence Day? One of the greatest movies ever made, Clint Eastwood film, Unforgiven. That's when that, uh, that film's what taught me that the guy who wants to take your guns away, well, the reason he's doing it is probably because he uh, plans to do something bad to you. Last week, the RCMP independently switched the classic green family of Swiss arms rifles from restricted or non-restricted to prohibited weapons. This is a firearm that was legal to possess up until that decision. It's estimated there are about 1,800 in Canada. Now, this latest move has firearms owners concerned about the RCMP's discretionary power to suddenly turn law-abiding gun owners into owners of prohibited weapons. But Public Safety Minister Stephen Blaney said on Monday that there will be an amnesty for current owners. I will bring forward an amnesty to ensure that individuals in possession of these firearms can continue to possess their property without threat of criminal charges. Faith Goldie joins me now in studio. Now, Faith, I know you're an expert on these topics, but help me, a regular guy, sort of understand what's going on here. So the government passes legislation about firearms rules and laws, but it's up to the RCMP to independently determine which firearms are are, are prohibited what kind of classification? And what Precisely. So, although de jour, so in other words, by law, it's the legislatures, uh, the legislature, the House of Commons that should be making the laws, and the RCMP that should be enforcing it. What we have de facto is RCMP forensic lab experts uh, testing various firearms for a very long period of time and now 13 years after initially allowing this in this case the Swiss Arms Classic Green and I'll expand your list to include the Black Special as well as the Blue Star, the Red Devil, a few other ones on the list to reclassify them from non-restricted which means anyone with your average pal, your position to uh, an acquisition license could own it, not have them registered, not need uh, authorization to transport them to and from the gun range pretty well, a lot of freedom there so going to follow the basic laws exactly, and have your license and exa stuff. exactly yeah. uh, to overnight it being prohibited banned you have to turn them into RCMP or whomever uh, lest you face three years behind prison so we saw a very very good move but just an initial move from the Ministry of Public Safety and saying look we're gonna be granting you amnesty hang tight for a second and I think that what the government's really doing right now is backpedaling and thinking how can we get things under control because the RCMP process something is clearly ineffective and and and, and wrong about it and now, I know you said, you know, experts in quotes, but I mean, surely there's some people there who know what they're doing or have a reason to make the decision they've made. I mean, what, what's the rationale? Well, this? well, what we're going to hear over the next coming days is that the Swiss Arms, as well as the CZA-58s, uh, are either easily converted into full auto or have been converted from full auto in the CZ case uh, to semi-automatic. Um, Ask me, ask a lot of gun-toting, uh, 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 liberty-loving Canadians, what the RCMP is doing right now is taking uh, war with semi-automatic rifles that are currently labeled non-restricted. With a semi-automatic rifle, when you pull the trigger, one cartridge comes out. It's not like, you know, a machine gun. Uh, so folks at home need to understand that. When you pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. But I they're saying if you go into the shop and you've, some guy puts a lot of work into it, he can sort of MacGyver it so that it becomes more of an automatic or something? Is, well, that, is that the idea? Uh, precisely. But the question is, how much work does he have to put into it if even the RCMP experts it took them 13 years to figure it out. Um, Whereas so, I assume I can just go across the border to some sort of salacious, you know, gangland guy and buy good, myself good, an automatic good, weapon. Good luck crossing the border uh, with firearms. Much easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but look, the point of the matter is this, that it's the RCMP's job to enforce the law, not to create the law. And what we have here is a backdoor way for the RCMP to essentially bypass our House of Commons and turn uh, 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 firearms owners into this uh, in this country into a uh, uh, convicts overnight and let's be very clear about something with the uh, bans that we've seen over the past week granted there's now amnesty what could have happened is 13,000 in total 13,000 Canadians would have overnight been turned into federal 
convicts. Why? If they didn't turn in their firearms. Because firearms offenses are federal jurisdiction. They cut, carry mandatory minimums. Right now, despite, you know, uh, 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 muses that there's a tough on crime uh, federal uh, a, a inmate sort of overpopulation, we only have, have 15,000 people within federal uh, prisons right now. So we would have seen the, that prison population double. So, so basically there's people saying, look, I want to be a, a law-abiding firearms owner, but you suddenly changed the game on what law-abiding means for reasons that I don't know. And for 13 years or whatever, the guy bought it five years ago, he says, I've been law-abiding since then, but now you've just changed the rules on me. And Anthony, don't forget the fact that in the case of the Swiss arms rifles, we're talking three to four G's a piece. That's a pretty penny. I, I haven't saved that much money to put into anything in my life yet, but you know, for the little you know, big purchases that I have made, if all of a sudden the government came down and knocked on my door and said, give that to me, otherwise you're going to jail. Whoa, buddy. Now I heard from, uh, I think it was NDP public safety critic, Randall Garrison, he was recommending that there should be some sort of independent commission of experts who aren't with the RCMP, but I guess aren't in the House of Commons to deal with these issues rather than leaving it to the RCMP. I found that a little interesting coming from him. I mean, what do you think of that idea? Or what, well, what, what do you think should be an idea it, moving it, forward? It, it's, it's, it's certainly a story uh, or a, certainly an angle that folks within the gun uh, community here in this country have touted themselves in so far as there needs to be someone policing the police. So to hear that coming from an NDP critic, surprising and kudos, certainly. So going forward, uh, what I'm hoping that, that, that the Conservatives are going to be doing is uh, uh, taking some sort of oversight position of RCMP rules and regulations right now and making sure that there is, in fact, someone policing the police. And uh, who knows, opening up the Firearms Act would be really nice as well. All right, Faith, thanks for stopping by, helping us understand all these new...